Happening now, two deaths are under investigation in the span of less than a week at DeSoto Falls in DeKalb County. One person was killed after cliff diving, another drowned. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Will Robinson Smith. People who regularly go to DeSoto Falls told Way 31 Sierra Phillips they're shocked by both of these deaths, and they happen because the area is normally considered safe. Right now, DeSoto Falls is closed because it's after sunset. But earlier today, I spent time with people who came out to the falls, and some say they have this week's tragedies on their mind. We noticed that as soon as we was pulling in, like, wow, there's a lot more cops than usual down here. I spent some time talking to people who come here to DeSoto Falls on a regular basis. They told me this area is usually safe. I've never really heard of too many deaths up here, more like Little River. They do tell me officers are keeping an eye out even stopping one of their own friends from cliff jumping. Park officials say this week they didn't increase patrols, but they did back in January. Earlier this week, 40-year-old man, Georgia resident Joseph Cantrell, died after park rangers say he crossed the barriers to go cliff jumping. On Friday night, Franklin Banks II, a 20-year-old Alabama A&M student from Monroeville, drowned. Saturday, people still came out to the falls. Today is actually one of the most packed days. About half of the 10 people I talked to today had already heard of the recent tragedies. DeKalb County, Sierra Phillips, Way 31 News.